What's going on, BB gang? Welcome back to the channel, All Things Strange. It's your man, Dr. Strange, and I'm back in action. So I'm asking, are we stacking or slacking on? What is this? Star Wars Villains, Darth Maul number one comic coming to the VV app on Friday. That's tomorrow, March 3rd usual drop time 11 a.m eastern standards so you got to be on your p's and q's if you want to get up into this drop so we're here on vv's twitter we're gonna see what the vv twitter fam is talking about see if we can get some prices on this book see what it's going for in real life figure out do we need to stack or slack on darth maul's first appearance in Star Wars villain, Star Wars number one. Let's hop in and see what the VV Twitter fame is talking about. I think the sentiment is pretty decent. I see about 520 something likes. So let's dig in. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here on VV's Twitter page checking out Star Wars villains, Star Wars number one. We got Randy, says awesome. Okay like it so here we got abdullah arif on the check-in with the go collect info for us so it says here according to go collect a 9.6 is going for 55 dollars for some weird reason it says a 9.2 which is a lower grade is going for a hundred dollars so i have no idea what to believe that's why i'm going to cross check this information with ebay and see what the values are going for in real time today so yeah looks like a lot of people are feeling this book vested into it even you know what i'm saying so that's very interesting it looks like there is a market for darth maul of course very popular star wars character so um let us hop on over to the vv medium article and get some drop details. All right, so here we are on the VV Medium article page, checking out Star Wars villains. Darth Maul number one. We're getting five cover rarities as usual in a blind box format. And it says here, right on hate, fear, and anger, steeped in the ways of darkness, trained to kill. Darth Maul's time as apprentice to Darth Sidious has long been cloaked in shadows, but at last we will reveal his tale of revenge. From writer Cullen Bunn, it's also done Deadpool Kills, the Marvel Universe. That was an awesome series. You guys got to check that out if you haven't. Also did Wolverine and artist Luke Ross. Star Wars The Force Awakens and Hercules comes a tale of rage unleashed as Darth Maul prepares for his first encounter with the Jedi. Man, so this pretty much sounds like it picks up after homie got his uh body chopped in half and all of that you know what i'm saying um maybe this is that book maybe it's not but i believe it is um so it should be an interesting read i'm not too familiar with this book myself so we got a drop price of 6.99 coming tomorrow on friday march 3rd this was published in 2017 it says we got 10,000 editions first available edition for public sale will be number 186 so look out for that min, num min number also look out for 2017 um so says here we are getting 6,000 rod reese main cover commons we're getting 2,250 rod reese black and white variant on common covers we're getting Raph we're getting 1,000 Raphael Albuquerque animation variants. We're getting 500 Mark Brook variation ultra rares. And we're getting 250 Raphael Albuquerque variant secret rares. So let's check out all of these rarities, variations in close up. So we got the common here. Darth Maul only man on the cover. Got a little auto popping off down there. And it's, it's, it's dope, man. I like this. You know what I'm saying? This gives me vibes from the movie. You know? So, I like it. And I think a lot of people like this cover. You know what I'm saying? 
could see that being the appeal of it this is the uncommon you know we got no character color saturation only a little bit of red in the title um i like it because it's simple but at the same time i kind of feel like i wish it was darth maul that had the color saturation over the letters so let's check out the rare um and the rare is what's this called again this is the raphael albuquerque animation variant that would be dope if our covers was animated right y'all <laughs> that would be sick um this right here remind okay so i see what they're saying because this is like the darth maul from the animated series versus this darth maul which is more of like you know the movie uh version of him so let's check this out again and you know for this being a rare and its own rarity you know like as far as the color uh cover itself i like that i always like when vv um switches it up for the other rarities over it being the same cover but just color or no co color so i'm digging this from that aspect i'll probably try to grab this rare that's what i'm gonna do um let's check out the ultra rare and this is the mark brooks variant ultra rare so yeah this is him i don't know how he got his legs back i don't know what's going on i thought Darth Maul had like spider legs at first you know what i'm saying when he um was getting back on his feet maybe he just got you know two legs again but i don't consider that an upgrade i'd rather have spider legs but that's just me it's an ill vehicle he's on i like that looks like it could like go right through your vehicle like if he just speeds like right through you you know what i mean it's like a razor it's dope so yeah you got the ultra rare right there it's an exclusive cover not exclusive but you know what i mean there's no other variants of it or anything like that it's no black and white it just is what it is so i gotta like respect that let's check out the secret rare here and this is the Raphael albuquerque variant get the up close this is fire 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 now with this being a modern book i don't expect the values to be that high so i don't expect the price in the secondary market to be that high either but i do want to confirm that so i'm gonna head on over to key collector comics and um get some more background info on star wars villains Darth Maul number one let's go all right ladies and gentlemen we're here on key collector comics checking out star wars dark world number one and you can see here it says this came out in february of 2017 so you know you can look for i guess 217 uh, of course 2017 um and it says here that this is a key you know what i'm saying it's not a grill but this is considered a key um, and this had a low of one dollar, a mid of two dollars, and a high of ten dollars. That's crazy. Reading order: read Darth Maul number one through five, then Age of Republic Darth Maul number one. The writer is Cullen Bunn. And let's see if we got any additional covers here. So yeah, we can see in real life here that. All right, BB, I see you. Okay. Pretty much, you know, all of our variants are not coming out of the blue. Good Lord. I wish we would get it. Why can't? Come on, man. Come on. We already got some of these in the app, too. Like, I want to add on to my collection of these. You know what I'm saying? I like to collect these in real life as well. You know what I'm saying? I got a couple of Star Wars joints. So, damn, baby. Damn, Marvel. Which one is this? Eh, whatever. I don't care about him. Man, but yeah, you know, I'm still appreciative that we're getting what we're getting. What's interesting here is this book is actually colored in a way I was kind of saying. is like, if you're going to leave the letters red, at least give me some red like in his face or the lightsaber. You know what I'm saying? And that's what they did here in real life. So very interesting that it looks like our variant isn't um, patterned after any real life edition so here we can see our other variant right here and our secret rare is right here so price wise it looks like you know they did their homework the secret rare 
which is this variant right here. The purple one up top is going, you know, it has the highest value by grade, 65. You know what I'm saying? So, very interesting stuff. Um, as we can see here, the action figure one is, is going for pretty cheap, which is very interesting. It's actually cheaper than, like, the original covers. Very interesting. Meanwhile, you know, the Palpatine is doing well, which doesn't make sense to me. And then this variant couple of, uh, cover of the Rod Reese is doing pretty well. So, you know, take that in, in any way you wish, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to head on over to eBay and see what these are looking like slapped up and what people are looking for right now. Figure out if I'm a stack or slack. On Star Wars Darth Maul number one. Let's ride out. Okay, guys, we're here on eBay checking out Star Wars Darth Maul number one. Um, let's take a look here. We got a 9.8 going for 79. Mm. Interesting. Let's see what else we got here. 300. It's a lot of these Darth Maul books. Um, okay. Got a raw copy for 10 bucks. Let me try getting sort. Highest price plus shipping. Let's see what we get. Got one at 5 G's. Again, there's so many variants out there and stuff. It's hard to really line this up with what we what we got you know what i mean but getting a look here barely even see our covers very interesting so i could surmise already that you know it's not the most popular book in the world. It's not going for the most, but there's definitely interest in it. I got to say for a modern book, you know, just in general, without seeing our specific book, you know what I mean? Needs to go in six, seven hundred, you know, and I just think that's where the market is at right now. Um, Darth Maul not being a major, major character like he is. Don't get me wrong. Like in the Star Wars universe, like, get, you know got his own stuff going on you know what i'm saying he got his own core fan is the most popular character in the world nah not at all you know so um with that said my stacking is slacking on star wars darth maul number one well for those reasons i just laid out i would probably say i'm gonna be slacking on the drop you know um I'm honestly torn on if I'm even going to go for one. I mean, I always love going for one. But we do have supposedly a bunch of back-to-back -back drops coming up in this month of March we're in. So I'm kind of, you know, on a wait and see type of uh, vibe right now when it comes to drops. I'm very uh, picky and choosy on which drops I'm going for. So, you know, if I'm being fair in that same regard with comics, I would have to say uh, I'm going to slack on the drop. I'm probably not even going to go for one because, you know, we're getting 10,000 at 699. And usually that combination, along with it being, you know, a modern age book, granted, you know, sometimes we get first appearances, sometimes we get storylines like this. They're just not tending to do so well in the aftermarket to where, you know, the same $6.99 I'm spending trying to hit one of these other rarities. The majority of these rarities might, you know what I'm saying, not even be too far off from that price. So, you know, I'm not a super fan of the secret rare the way I, I feel like I got to go crazy on the drop, maximize my attempts to try and even land that. You know, the ultra rare is cool, you know, rare is cool, but none of these uh, covers along with the prices in real life, uh, along with the bear market we're in is enough to make me even go 
and spend my $6.99 on the drop. So in the aftermarket, I would say that I'm going to somewhat stack a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to grab, especially because it's so cheap, I'm going to grab a couple of commons. And because, you know, we got so many variations in regards to our covers, um, I could definitely see myself grabbing the rare and the ultra rare for the low. I think this secret rare is going to go for the low. Uh, you know, I could see this being 45 bucks or something. 40, 36. Yeah, probably in the 30s, actually. Now I'm thinking about it. So, you know, that's what I would do. And that's what I am doing. Not financial advice to anyone. But that's what it is. So let me know. Are you going to stack or slack? on Star Wars Villains Darth Wall number one drop it in the comments for now your man Dr. Strange all things strange is out